Hey YouTube, I want to talk to you guys about aromatase inhibitors for the geared and non-geared user, both over-the-counter and prescription. So let's start with non-geared user, so you're not taking testosterone or steroids. So your body has a certain level of testosterone already naturally being produced, and it will convert what it needs to estrogen to help your body. Now if you're taking an OTC uh, aromatase inhibitor, what you're doing is you're reducing the amount of estrogen that your body is actually going to be able to deal with. Now, you don't want to reduce your estrogen too much because too little or too much is bad for you. you. You want to be in a certain range. So if your body's already got that natural range set, by using an OTC, you're actually going to really probably hurt your progress uh, quite a bit. You might find yourself fatigued. You might find you just end up screwing up your body, hormones, who knows what's going to happen. Now, if you're not on gearing you're taking, or you want to take a prescription um, or a aromatase inhibitor, just don't. All right, you are gonna screw your body up something fierce. The OTCs are pretty weak, prescription ones aren't. Um, you know, even if you're taking like deaspartic acid or a test booster, you probably don't need to take an aromatase inhibitor over the counter at the same time, and you definitely don't need a prescription one. So probably for the best to stay away from aromatase inhibitors because your body knows better than you do, so don't mess with your hormones. Now let's say you're on gear, uh, you're on test, you may be on a couple steroids, and your serum testosterone is through the roof because you're injecting. OTC ain't gonna do crap for you guys. Uh, you can't treat a prescription drug like testosterone with a non-prescription drug, all right? It's just not gonna be potent enough to deal with that. If your test levels are like 3,000 and your estrogen is through the roof, an OTC is gonna make like a little ding in that. So don't even bother with OTC if you've ever thought about it. If you're on gear, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and get a prescription um, for a, 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 an aromatase inhibitor, okay? Reason for that is you gotta treat a prescription with a prescription or you gotta treat pharmaceuticals with pharmaceuticals. Now I'm not advocating or the opposite of advocating, which I can't think of right now, the use of gear. However, uh, I wanna inform you guys as best I can. So. Aromatase inhibitors, if you start to find that you're on testosterone and you get a little bit of like tingling behind the nipple or a lump starting to form, your estrogen's probably converting too much of that test or your testosterone's converting too much to estrogen and you're gonna need an AI. How you go about getting that, you can go talk to your doctor, square up, say, hey, I'm on testosterone at home. I know I'm not, I don't have a script for it, but this is happening, help. Hopefully they'll help you. If not, you can go find it the way you found the other stuff too, all right? Like I said, I'm not advocating it, but people do it. So you're gonna need a prescription, something like a Remedex or, or Novaldex or common ones you find. So do you need an AI if you're on testosterone injections? Not necessarily. Uh, a lot of people can tolerate um, test injections, both with TRT doses and higher than TRT doses quite well. Um, so unless you start to feel that like tingling or lump forming, you might not need an AI. Uh, in fact, it might be better for you not to take an AI. But if you do, go get help fast because you don't want gyno, guys. Uh, gynecomastia, if it gets in too advanced, then you're gonna need surgery. And you don't wanna have a doctor cutting into your pack and like taking gigantic chunks out, right? All because you didn't take care of yourself. Um, if you are gonna you know, use steroids and testosterone injections without the supervision of a doctor, you might just wanna have something on hand in case because if you can't get it fast enough, it might sit in already. So that's it guys, if you're not geared, probably don't piss around with an AI, uh, it's just not worth it. And if you are, hopefully you've done your research and you know what you're doing, because if you don't, have it on hand or have it available or go to your doctor and talk to your doctor about it, because you don't want gyno, you don't want any of that crap. That's it guys, um, hope this has been informative with regards to aromatase inhibitors, both OTC and prescription. Um, those of you that are on TRT, you know, you can probably talk to your doctor quite easily about an AI if you start getting those symptoms. Uh, if they're worth their salt, they'll give you one. Questions, comments down below. And as always, guys, eat like a bodybuilder, train like a powerlifter.